this video i'll explain how to find characteristic polynomial and minimal polynomial of the given matrix so the characteristic polynomial of any matrix e is denoted as delta t and is given by determinant of t i minus a minimal polynomial to say any polynomial as minimal polynomial the conditions are the minimal polynomial and the characteristic polynomial must have same linear factors Second condition is m of t must divide delta of t and that polynomial should be monic and is of lowest degree and m of a must be equal to 0. That means a must be root of that polynomial. If any polynomial satisfies all these conditions, then we call that polynomial as minimal polynomial. So keep these points in your mind while solving the problems. See the first problem. Here, this is the given matrix. I want the characteristic polynomial first, delta of t equal to the direct formula to calculate the characteristic polynomial for a 2 by 2 matrix is t square minus trace of a into t plus determinant of a. So, t square trace means sum of diagonal elements 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 t plus determinant of a, 3 2 is 6 minus 2 that is 4. So, I can factorize this as t square minus 4t minus t plus 4. That gives you t minus 4 into t minus 1. So, this is the characteristic polynomial of the given matrix. Now, look at the factors of the characteristic polynomial. These factors are linear. Linear means the power of those factors is 1. So, the to find the minimal polynomial, because it is easy to find the characteristic polynomial as per the formula. But to find the minimal polynomial, the first condition you see, delta of t and m of t must have same linear factors. So while writing m of t, how many linear factors you have in the characteristic polynomial, that many linear factors must be there in the minimal polynomial. See, t minus 4 into t minus 1. Now, as this characteristic polynomial contains only linear factors, hence, in this case, delta of t equal to m of t, which is same as the characteristic polynomial. And all these will automatically follow because it contains only the linear factors. Let me give you one more example here. The characteristic polynomial is t square minus trace of a 2 plus 2 4 t plus determinant of a that is 4. I can simplify this as t minus 2 whole square delta of t. This is the characteristic polynomial. Now the characteristic polynomial doesn't contain only linear factor. There is quadratic factor as well. Therefore, now while finding m of t, you have two possibilities. So, delta of t and m of t must have same linear factors. The possibilities for m of t are, one is t minus 2. First, you write the linear factors, t minus 2. Linear factors, These, this linear factor must be there in any possibility. So, that I have written first. Now, one more possibility is t minus 2 whole square. Either t minus 2 or t minus 2 whole square. Two possibilities for m of t. Now, whenever there are more than one possibility, you have to go with other conditions. m of t divides delta of t. These two divide the characteristic polynomial. Therefore, second one is satisfied for both. Third is m of t is a monic polynomial of lowest degree. So, out of these two, both are monic. Out of these two, this is of lowest degree because degree of t is 1, here degree of t is 2. But still, I can't conclude this as the monic polynomial. The last condition is m of a equal to 0. So, for which polynomial a is a root? That you have to check. You can say it easily. a minus 2i and a minus 2i whole square. So, which gives you the value 0. 2102a minus 2002 if you do, you won't get it as 0. So, it, you will get the matrix as 0, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, all these conditions are satisfied for this polynomial, but last condition doesn't hold. Therefore, this can't be the minimal polynomial. Hence, minimal polynomial equal to t minus 2 whole square. So, in this case, though there are no only linear factors, m of t equal to delta of t. 
So if you check a minus 2i whole square, that is a minus 2i, you will get less 0, 1, 0, 0 into 0, 1, 0, 0. That gives you 0. Therefore, this condition is satisfied for the second polynomial. Now, I will give you one more example. See, third example here. Get the characteristic polynomial, that is t square minus trace. 2 plus 2, it is 4 t plus determinant of a is 4. Now, t minus 2 whole square. Characteristic polynomial is same as the characteristic polynomial of second matrix. But look here. Now, what is the change? Now, for m of t, again, there are two options. Linear factors must be there. So, first write the linear factors. So, next one more possibility is the quadratic factor t minus 2 t minus 2 whole square also has a linear factor t minus 2 but the power is 2 here out of these two possibilities now you have to check which can be the minimal polynomial so go to the points one by one so delta of t and m of t must have same linear factors that is there and uh, m of t divides delta of t these two polynomials will divide delta of t clearly. m of t is the monic polynomial of lowest degree. So one possibility is for this now because it is of lowest degree. And the fourth condition is m of a must be equal to 0. Let us see which polynomial will satisfy that. Now you have to find out a minus 2i. So a is third one 2002 minus 2002. Here, directly it gives you a zero matrix. Therefore, whenever it is satisfied for t minus 2, it will be satisfied for t minus 2 whole square also. Because this value, if you get 0, 0 into again t minus 2 will give you 0. Therefore, m of a equal to 0 for both of these polynomials. Now, this condition will play an important role while choosing the minimal polynomial. Here, I can't take t minus 2 whole square as the minimal polynomial because the condition condition is it should be monic polynomial of lowest degree a this fourth condition is satisfied for both the polynomials but you have to choose the polynomial of lowest degree therefore m of t equal to t minus 2 in this case m of t is t minus 2 this is how to find the minimal polynomial these four conditions you have to keep in mind see the fourth problem now here Characteristic polynomial is given by t cube minus trace of a into t square plus a11, a22 plus a33 into t minus determinant of a. This is the direct formula to get the characteristic polynomial of 3 by 3 matrix. Now t cube trace means sum of diagonal elements. So 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. It is 4 t square plus a11, a22, a33 are cofactors of diagonal elements. a11 is obtained by deleting first row, first column. Then you will get uh, this uh, 2 by 2 determinant. Evaluate this. 3, 3 is a minus 9 plus 4, 2 is a 8. So, it is minus 1 plus a 2, 2 means delete second row, second column. 4, 3 is a 12 minus 6, that is 6 plus a 3, 3 means delete third row, third column. So, 4, 3 is a minus 12 plus 12, that gives you 0 into t minus determinant of a, evaluate along the first row, you will get the value as 2. So, this gives you t cube minus 4t square plus 5t minus 2. This is a cubic polynomial. You can go with the synthetic division method to check the root. First, write the coefficients in this order 3, 2, 1, 0. So, that is 1 minus 4, 5 minus 2. Let us check is 1 a root of this polynomial. Write 1 here. So, write this coefficient as it is below. Then 1, 1 is 1 minus 4 plus plus 1 minus 3 minus 3 1's minus 3 5 minus 3 2 2 1's 2 minus 2 plus 2 gives you 0 whenever you get the remainder 0 here 1 is a root then you are remained with the quadratic polynomial t square minus 3t plus 2 now you know how to simplify this t square minus 2t minus t plus 2 which is nothing but t minus 
2 into t minus 1. So, already there is one factor t minus 1 because 1 is a root. Again, 1 is a root of this quadratic polynomial. Hence, t minus 1 whole square into t minus 2. This is how I factorize the given characteristic polynomial. Now, I have to find out the minimal polynomial. As this t minus 1 factor has the power 2, therefore, there are two possibilities for the minimal polynomial. So, first condition is minimal polynomial and characteristic polynomial must have the same linear factors. Therefore, linear factors are t minus 1 into t minus 2. Another possibility, t minus 1 into t minus 2, linear factors must be there. Then, if it has any factor other than the linear factor, that could be another possibility. So, t minus 1 whole square into t minus 2, this is one possibility or this is another possibility for minimal polynomial. Let us go with the other condition. Minimal polynomial should divide characteristic polynomial. So, these two clearly will divide the characteristic polynomial. Then, m of t is monic polynomial of lowest degree. Out of these two, lowest degree polynomial is this one. But, there is one more condition m of a must be equal to 0. So, for which of the polynomial a is a root that you have to check a minus i into a minus 2i. Let us find out that a minus i, a is the this matrix, a minus i means from diagonal elements you have to subtract 1, rest all remain same. So, that is 3 minus 2, 2, 6 minus 3 minus 1, minus 4, 4, then 3 minus 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. From the diagonal elements, here from the diagonal elements, just subtract 1 because minus 1i it is. Then into a minus 2i means from the diagonal elements, subtract 2. So 4 minus 2 it is 2. Then minus 3, minus 2, minus 5. Then 3 minus 2 it is 1. Rest all elements will be same. So, here 6, here it is 4, 3 minus 2. So, now find this product. So, 3 to the 6 minus 12, here 6 to the minus 12, then 2, 3 is the 6. 6 plus 6, 12, 12 minus 12, 0. Similarly, you do for every entry, that is 3 to the here minus 6, 5 to the 10, then 2 to the minus 4. Minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 plus 10 0. You can check with this. You will get the whole matrix equal to 0. That means this polynomial satisfies lowest degree and m of a equal to 0. Now if m of a equal to 0 for this, it should be 0 for this polynomial also. But out of 2, now choice for the minimal polynomial is made based on the this condition that is it should be of lowest degree here the lowest degree condition plays an important role hence now m of t equal to t minus 1 into t minus 2 if it doesn't satisfy for this polynomial that is m of a is not equal to 0 then the remained option is this in that case this becomes the minimal polynomial but now it is satisfying m of a equal to 0 hence minimal polynomial is t minus 1 into t minus 2 you have to remember these four conditions, then you verify accordingly, then you will get the exact minimal polynomial for the given matrix A. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching.